Citizens Bank Teller at Stop and Shop. Today's your last day at the Citizens Bank or Citizens Branch and Stop and Shop, West Main Road in Middletown. I was hoping to make it in today to ask you for your phone number. Unfortunately, I'm stuck in the boat working. We always would talk. Uh, we always would talk when I was done at the self checkout. I should have asked you for your number when I saw you on break in your car last week. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hope that you see this and we can connect. Yeah, wow. I think this is an opportunity. You could tell at, this guy had the balls. He wanted to do first, it. First, I was like, oh wow, this sounds like a Nicholas Sparks book slash movie, right? Yeah. And then when he goes, I should have asked for your number when I saw you. I'm breaking your car. It's kind of stalkerish. Sorry. Yeah, yeah and car. like, oh, yeah, sometimes. Like, how do you know that? You have to have known she's gone on break. You knew she went to her car and you saw her. Well, let's not it be, could be too innocent. It's a yeah, stop it and shop parking lot. Too, it could have been yeah. completely innocent. You know what I mean? And if they don't have tinted windows, I can just look around. Because I, I scope areas before I go anywhere. Like, you know, like if I'm on a parking lot, okay. I scope. Yeah. If he and just like walked just by her, and he yeah. noticed she's Especially since if he's so into her, like he's old, oh, there's that girl. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially yeah. if. Because like, it's weird if like they chatted, she went on break, and then he kind of just stared while she went to her nah, car. Nah, nah. See, I think he just went to a dark place. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was <laughs> No, the whole yeah. all right also too like just to, to play that with advocate not saying it's right or wrong but just saying um i could see like i'd be like this is not the right time to hit on her like just randomly walk into her car i'm like, with you You're really especially yeah. if she's your crush like hey knock on her thing like she's like it's probably relaxing on her break this and that and you don't want to be like scary. knocking on her door that's hey. scary actually like, like if you're kind of not number? paying attention and exactly. like, knocks on your window and it's like oh my god it'll start yeah. you yeah but i mean i thought it was kind of sweet like they chatted up you know Every time he was there, I'm sure it was innocent, and he just missed his chance. So I feel bad. This guy's got regret because he—you could tell like he had every intention of making it happen. Like, this is—I know this is her last day. But come on, guy, you and had how many chances to ask her, and now she doesn't work there anymore. Sometimes you gotta play the long game, you know. If and if he, I, man, I don't know if he sees this. This would be the craziest coincidence. If he, if he sees this uh, of us on the podcast. My advice to him would be, yo, just go ask one of our coworkers. Yo, it's like that would have to... been a good move. That would have been. But the thing is, they're so busy teleworkers. You don't really have time to small talk. You know what I mean? It's like. But apparently, sometimes I get. Yeah, maybe. sometimes maybe it's a small time. Maybe they're not that busy there. You know, maybe he, he catches her on a good time, and, and that's how they chat. Yeah, we would always talk when I was done at the self checkout. Right. And, I mean, that's, that's such. A, it's such a tough situation to hit on someone. So, like, how would you, how would you recommend him approach her? Like, just right there in the, in the teller line, like, hey, listen, you know, if you're not too busy, you gotta just take the leap. Uh, I think that's like, I think yeah. he was playing the long game, trying to get her comfortable. Like, you know, if she sees his face, she's like, oh, I'm about to have a good conversation. You know, this and that. Yeah. Like, he probably wasn't trying to make any moves because he didn't want to disrupt anything. And then he was like, all right, cool, I'm gonna like. I, I talked to her enough that I know when her last day was supposed to be. Yeah. You know, like. I wonder on, how no long way. they were chatting for. You know what I mean? Like, he, was, he was trying to lay it up. He was trying to do the alley oop, <laughs> but he missed. He missed the dunk. That like, was his last was day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of bittersweet. Then. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Because he leaned more to the bitter. Not I have a hard sweet. rule. I don't hit on any girls who do any kind of job capacity where they have to be friendly. The waitress, the you know the bartender. You know what I mean? Like. They have to be nice. Like it's just, I just mm. feel weird hitting on them. I don't know. I feel that to some degree, but I, I think you can come sometimes pick up on a vibe when they're being overly nice. You oh know? yeah, I'm sure there is Beyond a vibe. I just, this is my hard rule. Like I just yeah. don't do it. Yeah. I feel you. That's cool because like. That's your rule. There's a ton of people out there who don't care. Yeah. No, but <laughs> they're I, just like. Yeah. I like that logic though. It's because like you know that by default it's part of their occupation. You know. Like, what? That they're being nice? Yeah, that they're being no, kind. Well, and, and sometimes people will misread that. And sometimes they, they just get put off by that. And maybe you really think this person is key. So, like, and you hit on them and you miss your chance and it's kind of just like a double loss. You know? so, when was this? This was posted a day ago. Yeah. A day ago. There's still a chance. I mean, yeah. if we, we could get this message fresh. out. So, if we could get this message out to the teleworker at Citizens Branch, former teleworker at Citizens Branch, in Middletown, Stop Shot, West Main Road. Um, there's someone out there who works at a loading dock who's got uh, who's got the hots for you, and um, you know he's just he missed his opportunity. This is this is his uh, third chance. I, I don't know if it's. I don't, I don't know, know because we don't know how many times they've talked. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know how long they've been friendly. Women's perspective, maybe. How do you think he should have handled this? Asking her out. 
Yeah, definitely not at work. Yeah, I think I like the way he played. I, to, from my understanding of the knowledge that I have, I like the way he played it. I don't think he overstepped any boundaries. He was he was really playing yeah. the long game, and right. he was gonna wait for her last day to do it. Yeah, because then it's, it's either do or die. It's now or never. Yeah, and exactly, and it was gonna be like, I'm technically not asking her at work. She doesn't work here anymore. Right. You know, yeah. so it's like he wasn't crossing that line. Um, so. He's stuck on the boat working. He should have just like jumped off the boat and like, I got a girl. I gotta ask out. <laughs> would have been a super romantic story to tell your kids well like yeah that's okay so and, yeah off, that's like that like let movie. me stop you at the airport you know <laughs> yeah. catch you before you leave the country kind of flight uh, thing like that that's what it seems like it does seem like a very movie-esque yeah but yeah man i uh, think if it was a grand gesture like sorry. that like you said you should, i think you should have jumped off the boat or or just been like whatever this shift did is not as important as getting her number because Listen, they vibe that way. we're here to help you out. This is your third chance. Uh, so if you, if anyone's watching and knows, um, feel free to, uh, I don't know, message us. Maybe we can help this misconnection. And ladies, let us know. How do you think he should have handled this? Did did he do the right thing by waiting until the very last day so he wouldn't come off as a creeper and it's you know now or never? Or should he have just asked her on the day, the time that the, the moment seemed right? Yeah. Mm. I think it's dependent too on that. Like, you know, where did the conversation go? So you never want to force it. So maybe the conversation was just so good and innocent every time yeah. that he's like, oh, in his head, he's probably like thinking, like, I should ask now. And oh, no, it's not right. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I've asked girls out before and I, I felt like we had a good connection. And then it was like, no. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I just, did I, the atmosphere just kind of turn? Well, no. Um, so I had a number. I called Highway. her. Yeah. You know, and we're because we're, we're like acquaintances, and we're just kind of like chatting and stuff. And then I had her number, and I, I called her about something, and then then I just asked her out, and I just she just like uh, started stuttering and stuff, and just like I was, oh, she oh. probably got taken by surprise. She's like, I yeah, didn't see this coming, by and surprise. I'm not really into you. And Which I'm is sorry. Fine. Yeah, I mean, like I don't know what to say. And then I've been rejected in person before. You know what I mean? But I mean, there it goes. But that's these are people. You know, I said acquaintances are just people on the streets. Like I just don't do the whole mm. professional thing. Yeah. 